Windows 10 is officially here. Let's have a look at the highlights. On the right side of the start menu, you can customize the app tiles to your needs. Drag tiles into groups, rename the groups and resize the menu and the tiles to your taste. From here, you can pull a side menu that shows all your installed apps and programs and on the upper left side, you'll find the settings bar. By right-clicking on a program, you get the option to add it to the start menu. Once added, you can remove it the same way or even pin it and unpin it to the taskbar. On the left side of the start menu, you can choose to see your most used or recently used apps. The taskbar has also been redesigned and now contains a task view icon which gives you an overview of your open windows and programs. It also brings up a multiple desktop option, which is a pretty nifty feature and lets you have programs and windows open in different desktops. On the taskbar there is a new Cortana, which is a personal assistant that can be controlled simply by typing a question in the search box on the taskbar. It can help you find out what's the weather like or find a program on your PC like Opera. Cortana can also be controlled by voice commands using your mic. When upgrading to Windows 10, your preferred default browser switches to Microsoft's new Edge browser. But, if you want to set your previous browser as default, you can easily do that from the Start menu. Open the settings and select System. Then Default Apps and scroll down to Web Browser. Click the Default Browser option and choose the one of your preference. If you haven't tried yet, the Opera browser works well on the new Windows 10 and offers you nifty features to discover content on the web and easily save it and share it with your friends, as well as access it across devices with the Sync feature. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below.